Okay, so here's the problem I have with these G Tech pulleys. Look what's happened with the belt? It's actually riding up on top of the teeth a lot. So if I come over here, I can actually push it down in there, but then it comes out somewhere else. So teeth are not sized right and or it seems like they're kind of they're square or at least mostly square so I have two sets of these one that I bought in April I think that when I went to rebuild my printer a week and a half ago I could not find so I ordered a new set from the same seller and they came and I tried them and ended up getting prints calibration prints like this that aren't supposed to be crooked like that you know it should have you know look at that that's only like four millimeters high and that's that tapered. Look at that. This is the type of, oh, this is because I I started to cut it with a pair of dice to see how easy it would split, so but but see the taper? That's not supposed to be happening. Alright, and here's another example of this part. I don't think I tried to cut or anything. Look at deflection, and it's not even consistent, so wavy. And then you see the bottom layer was all doing goofy stuff. I can't get it to focus. Oh, you get the idea. Okay, so I was doing that stuff. Alright, so we got the 20 tooth that I need to mount on here. Is this the right Allen? Yes, it is, I think. Yeah. Alright, that's snugged up. I can might as well do both. Okay, that's snugged up. Ain't going anywhere. Take my little, my belt from my test rig over here with a tensional from a rubber band. Pull the pulley over here. Alright, so, look at how that meshes, absolutely perfectly. There is no bouncing up and down or anything. Let's go from this angle and get my finger out of the way. Alright. Look at that, it's absolutely perfect meshing. No problems whatsoever. So, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, I don't have a microscope, but if I were to look at the teeth in depth on these, these are going to be more or less square, and the 20 tooth are going to have more of a angled tip to them, which is how, you know, any typical gear should be, you know, it, it can't be square, it doesn't work that way. I'll give you an example. You know, what if the teeth, the, see the teeth on this gear for an extruder, see they tapered? This gear would not work, oops, would not work very well if these teeth were square. Wouldn't mesh very well. I'm 99% sure that's what's happening here, because if we compare teeth here. Get over there. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Of course not. Okay. If we can figure the teeth. These visually look square to me. And I don't even have my high magnification on. These look like the tapered. And you can see it by the way the belt moves on them. So that's the problem with these gears. They're just 
Like I said, I originally thought it was out of round because the belt was gone. But then I, in my experiment and testing here, I realized that just the belt is not meshing with these teeth because of the, the way that they're shaped. So, in my opinion, these are junk. I think I forget what I spent on each set. I think each set was like 20 bucks, maybe a little more, even shipped, and it's not worth anything. I got a better deal getting, you know, five 20 millimeter ones put, you know, put in, and I put them in here and they work perfectly now. No more problems. So, we'll see what happens.